Morning campers, Alan and Michelle here from Travelbug TV. We're going out on a trip today with uh, our Volkswagen bus Fanny. Um, the weather's not so clever, um, but our trip today is going to be out to a place called Diva Victrix, otherwise known as Chester. So we'll get to it, we'll get it's about a 40 minute journey. We'll get ourselves parked up. We're going to stop at a place called the Rudy Car Park, which I believe is <laughs> virtually on the River D, and we'll give you a review of that as well. Okay guys, so we'll catch you later. So, here we are at Little Rudy Car Park in Chester. Cases for camper vans. It's very cheap. I'll get a shot of the um, tariff board soon. But as you can see, there's lots of camper vans here. The top end up there is a cafe with toilet facilities. There's all sorts of campers here. A few more there. And I'll um, just walk you down to the River Dee. So there you have the River Dee. And we'll just walk back up to Fanny. See what Michelle's up to. Someone off doing some Christmas shopping. Oh, looks like we're uh, battening down the hatches for the day. Off out to Chester for Christmas markets and a little trip. Eight clock, which is the second most photographed timepiece in the UK after Big Ben. A little bit of an interesting fact for you. And we have the Salvation Army playing music on our left.
by New Dare's Wind. Merry Christmas, everyone. Second drinks of the day, it's a Guinness and a Prosecco cocktail. Merry Christmas! The shell's happy. <laughs> this place is absolutely packed. Chester Cathedral, absolutely wonderful. You can pick up on that down there, isn't it? This is great. This. this is it's a donation as you come in, so you can put whatever you want in a couple of pounds. You're awfully upkeep of the cathedral, so you can put things like this on. Oh, all this. Now we're talking about brickwork. You know what I'm like for brickwork. Look at that. The Simon Ripley Stone. Which is that? Let's just take you through this door so you can see what's through here. A little more difficult than he expected. Look at these gardens out here, look at this. Well, this is a statue. It's called the Pity of War statue. It's the national memorial to those who were affected by war. Even more Christmas trees, look at this lot. Around all four sides of the square, it's absolutely stunning. Look at that for brickwork. It's stunning.
So these are the poppies from the Tower of London in 2014. I'm not quite sure whether the camera will pick it up through the glass, but we'll try. That is some organ, if you pardon the expression. What a musical instrument that is. This is a mosaic goes the full length. This one, it must have took an age to do. So now we'll go in up the steps. Let's see what's up here. So let's make our way up the stairs. I've said that to Michelle on more than one occasion, but I've never been up storm stairs. Let's see what's at the top of this lot. Here. So we're now in the chapel of St. Anselm. And back out we come. Incredible. We've got more Christmas trees. There's also some horrors in here. Oh my god, who's that? Off with her head. What is head? Well, Alan has fried tuck <laughs> suit too. <laughs> oh dear, it looks better than me. Well. All I can say about Chester Cathedral, I was trying to do this video in uh, two parts. I was like, could do a series just on cath Chester Cathedral on its own. Um, Max out of 10, Michelle, what would you give it? I give it 11 out of 10. It's absolutely fantastic, it's a wonderful place, isn't it? Michelle's had a bit of a cry, we've had a bit of a personal dilemma going on over the last few weeks. Um, a few candles. A few candles, absolutely, yeah. like a kiss. Well, we're we'll getting there now. Um, yeah, we're having a great time here in Chester. I really do think we're going to have to come back and do another one because Chester Cathedral is just absolutely fantastic. The Christmas tree display is all donated by local business, local charities. It's stunning. The place itself is just absolutely, I am going to say it, fantastic. Okay, guys, um, we'll get back to you later. We're going to try and do a little bit more work around Chester now. We might have a few more mug wines. What do you reckon, Michelle? You know, you have to test them all, see that they're all, see which is best. We're going to try a few. Okay, guys. You can a few for a second as well. Okay, catch it all later. Bye.